Hey guys, uh, it is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I am have been up for a few hours. I did get up a little bit later today. I probably got up around 10 or 10.30. Um, I just decided to start try to, trying to get into the habit of vlogging more. Um, so I'm going to take you guys around on my day and just kind of show you what's happening. Hey, sorry about that. So my battery actually died. Um, I had never had that happen to me yet. So, um, yeah, that was kind of funny. Anyway, so, um, I think I left off that I was telling you that I was going to vlog about my day, try to vlog about the week, see what kind of footage I can get. Um, keep in mind, we're still under quarantine, so, um, it's probably not going to be the most exciting, um, but yeah, we'll try to make it fun. Um, so anyway, right now it is, uh, I think, a little bit past 12 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change my clothes because I'm just in pajamas and um, get ready to head to my therapy appointment. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um... I gotta learn not to wave, like, every time I come on the camera. Like, just in the beginning would be fine. So, anyway, um, I'm running a little bit late. It is 12.25, um, and I am going, get, getting ready to test my blood sugar for lunch. Uh, well, just not lunch necessarily, but, like, just the afternoon test. I... Had a little bit of breakfast this morning. I actually had some stuff that wasn't so great for me. I had uh, donuts and coffee and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure my sugar's probably a little high. I did already take my insulin now. So because I'm on um, a U500 concentrate, my insulin dosages never change. So I'm not actually doing like boluses necessarily because um, I'm not correcting. I'm just taking the same amount every time for every meal at every day. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and check my blood sugar and see where that is at. Yeah, so pretty much as suspected, I am 4.38 right now. So I did just take my insulin maybe like 5-10 minutes ago. It'll probably be a couple hours before it kicks in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring some water with me and try and just keep myself hydrated. And I'm going to head to my doctor's appointment. I will go ahead and see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um... I gotta learn not to wave, like, every time I come on the camera. Like, just in the beginning would be fine. So, anyway, um, I'm running a little bit late. It is 12.25, um, and I am going, get, getting ready to test my blood sugar for lunch. Uh, well, just not lunch necessarily, but, like, just the afternoon test. I... Had a little bit of breakfast this morning. I actually had some stuff that wasn't so great for me. I had uh, donuts and coffee and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure my sugar's probably a little high. I did already take my insulin now. So because I'm on um, a U500 concentrate, my insulin dosages never change. So I'm not actually doing like boluses necessarily because um, I'm not correcting. I'm just taking the same amount every time for every meal at every day. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and check my blood sugar and see where that is at.
Yeah, so pretty much as suspected, I am 4.38 right now. So I did just take my insulin maybe like 5-10 minutes ago. It'll probably be a couple hours before it kicks in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring some water with me and try and just keep myself hydrated. And I'm going to head to my doctor's appointment. I will go ahead and see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I'm back. Um, we are vlogging in my car right now currently. The sun is out and bright. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I went to my therapy appointment and that actually went really well. Um, I, you know, I, I think, I don't know, I think therapy is, um, as effective as you, the work you put into it. And so, um, you know, I was able to, uh, get some stuff out today and, um, feel, uh, feel a little bit better. So, um, yeah, so that happened, and now I'm here, um, probably gonna go get some coffee. I'm like, okay guys, this is a big moment for me, because I'm sitting here in the parking lot of a Rite Aid, where I would normally, sorry, there's like people walking around, and I'm like vlogging, and I'm not used to it. Anyway, so, um, I'm sitting in the parking lot of a Rite Aid where I would normally go purchase cigarettes, and I kind of want to purchase a pack of cigarettes. That might be a better position. Um, and I kind of want to purchase a pack of cigarettes. Not necessarily to smoke them, but to just have them there in case I need them, but then I feel like if I have them, I'm just going to smoke them, because I'll find some excuse as a reason why I need a cigarette, uh, and I haven't had one since midnight, I really shouldn't, I should just make, I should just say no, right, like I should just oh my God. say no to cigarettes. I don't know, guys. I'm probably going to sit here for another few minutes, think about what I'm going to do, and hopefully just talk myself out of buying them. And then I'm going to go get coffee and try to enjoy my afternoon. Oh, I did actually also um, just swung by Goodwill because there's a Goodwill in this area of where I'm at. And... Um, it dropped off some, you know, donations and stuff, so I did that finally because it's been sitting in my hair for, like, I don't even know, like, two weeks, I think. So now, tomorrow, I can go wash my car if I need to because I have all the junk out of it. Well, almost. I still have to get trash out of it, but, yeah. Okay, so I'll see you later. So I'm back home now. It is 6.09 and I'm going to go ahead and test my blood sugar again for uh, the evening, the dinner time. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, no, Callie. No, no, bad girl. Bear with me while I'm talking to my cat. I'm desperately trying to rein in some behavioral problems. Ow! She's a kitten and is about, oh, four months. And so if you guys have any experience with kittens or behavioral problems, please feel free to leave me some info down in the comments um, about what I can do to... Yeah, about 
what I can do to better train her. I'm done. Oh, my goodness. Clumsy. Where is my meter? Dropped it. <clears throat> um, aside from using a squirt bottle, that is like my last resort, I don't really know what else I can do. So if you guys have any experience with kitten training, uh, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. No. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, back to what we were doing. I wonder if any other diabetics out there still hesitate when they like check their blood sugar. Like, you know it's coming. And it honestly doesn't even hurt that bad. But, like, it's still, like, you can feel it. And it's kind of a pain. So, alright. So, I'm still running a little bit high. I'm at 373, which is odd because um, my coffee didn't have any sugar in it. It was literally just Splenda and half and half. Um, and I haven't eaten anything since lunch. So, I'm going to go ahead and take some more insulin because I'm still feeling pretty crappy and um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it is Thursday, August 17th, I think. Um, yeah, August 17th and it is about 2, two o'clock, I think, probably a little bit after 2. Um, I am, I've been up for a little while, um, I had a rough night of sleeping last night, I don't know. And that's how you do a battery change. Uh, sorry guys, I'm also dealing with my cat, she's acting like a nut right now. Um, I, I may have mentioned this earlier in the week, but I'm having some behavioral issues with her, and so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to nip those in the bud because she's only four months and I know as she gets older it's definitely going to get a lot worse so I'm trying to get that in control now. I don't like using spray bottles and water bottles and things like that just throwing that out there but she really just doesn't respond to anything else like literally nothing else. So um and she barely responds to the water to be honest. Uh she like I have to do her, get her a few times to get her to understand like okay that's not what I want you to do or whatever so anyway but um like I was explaining it is uh I'm sure it's after two o'clock now I'm actually getting ready to leave the house getting ready to go pick up my mom um because she has a virtual comedy show that she is doing tonight and so I'm going to help her as far as the technical uh, part of it um I'm not really I'm not really sure why she needs me in particular because I'm not really a tech savvy person um but uh she is worse than me so yeah we'll see how that goes um I will go ahead and check in with you guys probably a little bit later Hey guys, um, it is Saturday, August 15th, it is about 5pm and I am just checking in um, for the first time since I think like Tuesday. Um, I'm probably going to end like this vlog-ish thing here. Um, I apologize that I haven't gotten more footage for you guys this week. Um, it's just been a lot busier than kind of anticipated. Um, I also haven't been feeling the greatest, so I don't know, like, what's happening. Um, my sleep has been really off this week. As you can see, I definitely have some bags and some dark circles under my eyes. So anyways, um, yeah, so if that's any, any indicator to you guys on how I've been sleeping, it hasn't been great. So, um, I also had my mom here for a couple days, 
Um, cause like I think I had mentioned that I was helping her with her Zoom virtual comedy show and as much as I love my mother, love having her around, sometimes being around her for long periods of time stresses me out. So, um, I'm feeling just very exhausted and overwhelmed and just, it's just been a busy week. So, I'm going to end it here for this week. I will pick the camera back up probably Sunday or Monday. Um, I do have another comedy show that I'm helping her with. Um, she has shows Monday and Tuesday, so... Um, maybe we'll, I'll try to get some footage of that. Um, other than that, hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will see you next week. And ho I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have this video uploaded by Sunday. Uh, that's why I'm like recording this ending thing right now. Um, cause the goal is, is I'm going to take this footage right now. I'm going to edit it and upload it so you guys have it by Sunday. So anyways, um you guys you guys rock. Thank you so much for the support and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Good Monday afternoon everybody. It is about four o'clock. I am finally up and getting ready to leave my house for the day. Um I'm going to um head to Target uh, my mom is here visiting, uh, doing her comedy show stuff like I talked earlier in the week. So I will go ahead and um, check in with you guys probably when we get to Target. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, checking back in. I am here at Target. I don't know if you can actually see the little Target logo. But I'm here at Target in the parking lot. I was going to go in with my mom, but I'm really, I'm just not feeling it today. Um, brighter note, I'm actually wearing makeup today, so that is something. Um, I don't usually put on makeup, like, ever. I used to try to, or used to put it on, like, every day, and then, like, I just got to this point where I was like, mm, I'm just not going to do it anymore. Um, I call it depression, call it laziness, whatever, but anyway, so I put on, I got dressed, you know, I was trying to make myself pumped up, feeling good, got makeup on, got ready, went out the door, and it kind of is just snowballing downhill from there. Um, my knee, I'm having incredible knee pain today for whatever reason I actually have no idea what's wrong with it I'm assuming I just pulled something or maybe bumped it into something I mean when you're overweight um and you have been overweight for a long time it's really hard to tell you know what's actually wrong with you um especially when it comes to your joints because it could just be the fact that I'm overweight, it could be the fact that, you know, I did actually did something to it and don't remember, so I don't know, but um, the swelling is finally starting to go down today, so that's good. I'm still not really feeling 100% to, like, walk around and stuff, so I'm kind of just chilling in the car waiting for my mom to get done. I think she just said that she was going to grab a couple things and then be out, but... Um, and then from there, I'm gonna go home and cook dinner, uh, for my mom and my boyfriend, um, they're, he's supposed to be coming over later at some point, and she's obviously going home with me because she will be at my house until Wednesday. Yay! So exciting. Um, no. I mean, like, I love my mom. I love my mom. I do. Um, but she can be a lot. She can be a lot. And, like, our personalities, like, we don't always jive because we're not always on, like, that same level. And so, you know, we can do good at, like, dinners and functions and, like, short bursts. But, like, actually living together? Mm -mm, no. So this is actually the most time I've spent with my mom in probably years so 
we'll see. We'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, keep your fingers crossed for me. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Probably when I start cooking. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, see you later. Alrighty, so I am back home. Um, I'm currently sitting on my couch. It is... So what time it is? 5.51. And I'm going to go ahead and check my blood sugar um, before I go ahead and get dinner started. So yeah, let's go ahead and check my blood sugar. No, Callie. Alright, so I'm at 248 right now, which isn't too, too bad. It's not great, but it's not the worst it's been either. So I'm going to go ahead and take my nightly dose of insulin, and then I'm going to go ahead and cook dinner. Um, I will, I, I'll probably vlog some of that a little bit. I'm making a um, Cajun creamy uh, one pot chicken and uh, sausage pasta. So yeah, um, I will go ahead and check back in with you guys when we start cooking. Hey guys, oh, ah, sorry my cat, my cat likes to climb on me. Okay, so we are cooking now the uh, pasta I was talking about earlier. I actually have the recipe, I found it years ago on Pinterest. And so that's kind of where I got this from. Excuse me, just one second. No. Sorry about that. I actually had to put my cat up because she won't let me cook in peace. So, anyway, um, I am just starting to cook the chicken. As you can see, we're cooking that. And I kind of just add a little bit of the, a little bit of everything. So, I pretty much use this on pretty much everything and garlic, lemon pepper, black pepper, and onion powder. Um, I still have to cut up the sausage and I still have to cut up the sausage and the bell pepper. Um, I like to cook personally while listening to podcasts. I like this really, um, it's kind of, a, I guess, like a spooky pair podcast. It's called The Grave Talks. Um, would highly recommend if you're into the paranormal, spooky kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up dinner, and I will show you the results once they're done. 
right guys, so this is what the pasta looks like as a finished product. Um, this is basically just the leftovers that I'll have. I actually have, um, <clears throat> we'll have a bunch of leftovers. I've actually already eaten dinner. It's probably about mm, 9 or 10 o'clock now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that stuff up and then I will probably head to bed myself, maybe watch a little bit of 90 Day Fiance, hang out with my cat a little bit, wherever the heck she went, she's here somewhere, I don't know, so yeah, um, I will check in with you guys in the morning.